Yeah, g'day guys, welcome to another episode of Shanky Garage. My name is Sam. So today's episode is going to be a two-part episode. So part one will be doing the left and right hand floor pans, and then part two will be doing the rest of the rust repairs and then painting the underbody with KBS. So yeah, we'll get straight into the video and hope you enjoy. Okay, so today's episode we're going to be concentrating on the underside of the cabin here. So I've got that flipped over on the back end and I've also degreased it all and given it a, a scrub down so she's pretty much prepared to start doing some repairs so yeah there's various repairs on this underside before I coat it with the KBS so you can see here yeah, the the uh, floor pans are pretty gone so we'll need cutting out a new one put in and same on the other side got some rust here to cut out as well and some plates to weld in there on the uh, inside of the uh, sill panels uh, down here got the rear cab mount so I have to cut that out and weld a new piece in there and also the same on the other side so it's actually uh, rusted the both sides of it so the outer and then on the inside so that double skin there so so yeah that'll that's gonna be a bit of a prick of a job to repair that but um, has to be done I suppose so got the Floor pans here, just bought a set from uh, Resto Country. So yeah, got them, got the KBS um, system. So I've just got a chassis coater kit for the chassis um, and I've got an extra tin of rust seal. So that one's satin black. So I'll do all the underside and on the inside all in satin black and then the chassis coater is gonna be uh, gloss black. So. Uh, a few extra other bits and pieces, so I've got the cab mounts and radiator support mounts and just a right hand upper door hinge as well, so a few bits and pieces there. So yeah, got um, a bit of work to do here, so we'll get cracking into it. Okay, so I'll probably start doing the floor pan, so the right hand side floor pan's a lot better than the left hand side, so I'll concentrate on this one first, but yeah, the, the rust seems to be all in this section here, but what I will do is while I wheel it all back and just, you know, make sure there's there's no rust up up further. So hopefully I want to try and get away with not having to unpick uh, the floor plan off from, from this section and also on this section. So if I can just replace, you know, that, that section without having to unpick any of this, because that's yeah, going to make it a lot harder. But yeah, we'll find out once I while wheel it back. So this other side... Uh, it's a lot worse, so the rust actually comes up uh, further further up here. Um, so yeah, I'll have to basically unpick all this to replace, uh, f you know, the rust section further up. And yeah, hopefully I can get away with um, not having to unpick unpick this bit as well. So I'll basically cut it cut it, uh, you know, close close to this cross member. But yeah, I'll just wire wheel it all back first and um, see what I've got to work with here. Okay, so I've just wire wheeled the, uh, this section back, just around, around all here. So all this area looks all pretty good. It's all good steel there. So I've kind of marked it out roughly, sort of how I'm gonna cut it. So I'll just sort of cut, yeah, out this, this area here. So yeah, that should be pretty straightforward. Okay, so I've just cut this piece out. I cut it a little bit larger, but so I had to basically yeah, take some um, material off the, the edges and, you know, just with the, the flapper wheel, just take off a little bit at a time just to, to get it down into a nice fit. So yeah, basically she's cut to size now. I've just got these panel clips. So I just got these off 
off eBay and uh, they will basically support it and hold it in there while they um, tack it in. Okay, so that's sitting in there, so I'll tack that in. It's got the panel clips in there to, to hold it in, so everything seems to, to line up not too bad, so I'll go around and tack it all in place. Okay, before I weld, I just make sure I've got some water nearby and make sure it uh, make sure it works as well. So yeah, just in case any sparks go into the cab and you know light anything on fire, that always be prepared and make sure you've got water source nearby. Okay, so that's all tacked in. So coming out, not too bad. So basically, I'll go around and weld it all in, just do little sections at a time, and then move move around to another area, and then just, yeah, work my way around, just so it doesn't basically heat up too much and then uh, warp the, the metal. So yeah, try and move it around a bit. Okay, so that's all welded in, and I've angle grinded the back just with a flapper disc. So yeah, it's not too bad. I didn't want to grind it all super flat because it's pretty thin steel, and if I um, yeah start grinding into some of this material here, it'll just get thinner and thinner. So yeah, it's not it's not perfect, but I think once you paint it, it um, it should be good. There's still you know there's still a few few little high spots and stuff but yeah it, sh it should be okay once I paint it okay so gonna go on to the other side so I started basically grinding the inside of the floor pan to try and find the spot welds all along here and when I was doing that I pretty much just found that it was just all bog under there so yeah it's just rusted all the way through and someone's just done a dodgy bog job on it so yeah, that's basically saved me a job of uh, drilling out the spot welds. I just put a chisel in here and it just all pretty much come away from, from this part here. So I have drilled out the inside spot welds up here. So all this material up here is pretty good. So I'm just a little bit worried that it's going to start to get like real thin around here where I want to basically weld up to. So yeah, I'll have to cut, cut out from, you know, around this spot here and just see how thin it is and hopefully I can um, basically yeah join it join it along here okay so I've actually decided I'm gonna unpick all this section and pull pull this piece away um, just so I can get underneath there and, and do this uh, repair properly so yeah there's a fair bit of rust that has gone up 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 into there so I just want to yeah check all that and it's just a bit of a prick on the inside so I'll pull this off um, and then yeah it should make it a hell of a lot easier so yeah there's just um, spot welds all along here so I should be able to drill them out with the drill so I've got a uh, spot weld drill bit here uh, so that's just a little bit flatter than the normal drill bit and it's a uh, cobalt so uh, I've actually used it um, for a couple of spot welds already and it's yeah it's actually works pretty good so yeah I'll unpick all that and um, yeah see what we've got underneath here <laughs> Okay, so I've just got this piece out. It was a bit of a prick to pull out really, but just drilled out all the spot welds and then pried it out with a screwdriver and a chisel to break some of the, the uh, spot welds. So I've just got this marked out roughly, so I'll go along and cut that out with an angle grinder. So I will be using pretty much the, the whole floor pan on, on this one. So yeah, she's, she's pretty bad. So good thing I'm replacing it. Okay, so a lot of cutting and trial and error later, I've finally got this piece sitting in here. Not too bad, there's a few little gaps, um, some sort of bigger gaps up here, 
which I think I, I cut this uh, piece a bit too high. But anyway, I should be able to fill that with weld. Um, the ribs don't really line up that well, but it's probably the best I'm gonna get it. It's not gonna be perfect, but, um, but yeah, the rest of it lines up not too bad. So yeah, I'll start tacking it in and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So she's all welded in. The welds aren't pretty, but once I grind it back, it should be all good. So yeah, she was a bit of a prick to line everything up, but got there in the end. I thought I was going to have issues, you know, down this area here, but all that welded in pretty nicely. So yeah, that's all good. So yeah, pretty happy with how that's come out. The ribs uh, don't really line up 100%, but it's all good. It's um, not really going to see it anyway. So just got to yeah tidy up all this area now and weld in this piece okay so i've just grinded it all back all the welds just sort of prepped everything i've just wire wheeled all this section here so i can weld in uh, this piece here so i've cleaned this up and drilled some holes into into here for the spot welds because yeah this section here was all rusted so i didn't actually have to drill drill any spot welds around there so i just um basically yeah drilled a heap of holes to, to spot weld so yeah also i've just gone and got some of this um cold gear silver zinc coating so i'm gonna spray all this section with that and then the inside of this piece as well um and then that way that's gonna protect the inside there and I've been told that you can, you know, once you coat it, you should be able to weld through it. So it's like a weld through primer apparently. So I'll give that a go anyway and see how it goes. So this piece here, it actually took a little bit of bending to get it to a lot for everything to align up again. Cause I think there's a little bit of variance in this floor pan. So I just had to do a little bit of tweaking to, to get this to, to fit in there. So yeah, she, she actually, um, yeah, lines up yeah pretty good now so yeah you can see the the old um where all the old spot welds were that all lines up there so yeah i'll um paint this uh this part and then i can start tacking it in Okay, so this piece is all welded in and grinded back. So yeah, she lined up pretty well, just a few little tweaks, but all in all pretty happy with how that's welded in. So yeah, officially the floor pans are done, left and right floor pans. So it definitely took a lot longer than I was expecting. I was uh, hoping to get all the repairs done in one video. So what I'll do is I'll make a two part episode so i'll make this as part one and then episode or well, part two will be you know repairing these back cap mounts and also the seal panels and then yeah painting the whole underbody so if anyone does have any ideas on how to repair these seal panels the outer seal panels i reckon they've been replaced before because they're actually yeah really good i can't find any any rust so i don't want to pull them out to repair the inside seal panels so if anyone has any ideas on how to fix that then let me know in the comments section okay so that's it for part one of this two-part episode so part two will be basically repairing the rest of the rust and then painting the underside with the KBS so yeah if you did get something out of this episode hit that like and subscribe and appreciate the support and we'll see you next one so cheers guys <laughs>